Um, I'm sure this is probably fine. Don't get ground up in any of the gears, Nancy. There are six ways to connect these. Oops. Hello and welcome back everyone. Welcome to Nancy Drew the Haunted Carousel, where today we are going to start by going to the carousel because, well, I think the last time I didn't actually investigate the carousel because I stupidly went on a ride on the carousel instead of actually just taking a look at it, except she doesn't really seem to want to look at this in particular, so let's continue on this way. What can I do here? What is this? Am I gonna play the- oh! Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we have two card reader things here. We learned about this t last time. We learned about Rolf Kessler in the little pamphlet, I think. Do I still have the pamphlet? It's. I think it's in my hotel room. But we're gonna start with this. We're gonna open this up. We also have to take care of a soldering gun at some point. We have to go see Joy and see if she got the message, or I guess go see Elliot, because he's the one with the soldering thing. <sighs> Already doing everyone else's chores. he is. Okay, so we have to call that person. I'm not going to do that right off the bat because I feel like a lot of these Nancy Drew episodes involve talking on the phone and I'd like to do something else. So let's try to pop in here first. Um, where'd my card go? There it is. Let's go inside the carousel. Um, I'm sure this is probably fine. Don't get ground up in any of the gears, Nancy. Please. Because I can just see that being a thing. Yes, that would be the exit. Okay, we have this. It has a lock on it. I don't know what that is, so we're not going to mess with it. Is this important? There's a trap door. Let's go in the trap door. <sighs> Time to start crawling. Yeah, well... This goes to the space underneath the carousel. Yeah, obviously. Where else would it go? Come on now. Caution beyond this point. Oh, because it's all the, um... All the, the, the things. The horse things. You know, how they go up and down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's all the bits that are There's under the carousel. Up there. Looks like a letter. Oh, up there. Okay, let's poke it with a stick. I can't reach it. Uh, let's. I said let's poke it with a stick. I don't think I have a stick to poke it with. I don't think this. Th is, wait, is this gonna be long enough? Perfect. Hey, I didn't even realize I needed that, but here we go. That's a lot of text. Okay, my dearest Amelia, the work goes slowly, but it goes. I just completed my fifth horse, my favorite so far. I call him Foxfire, which is a phosphorescent fungus that grows on rotting wood. I have heard of that. I've always thought fondly of that name. Every night, music plays in the ballroom above my workshop. Every night, a hundred feet scamper back and forth overhead. When I complained to Mr. Rousseau, he said that if I worked in the daytime like everyone else, there would be no music to bother me. He doesn't understand that I can only work when the world is, as I feel, dark, dangerous, and unknowable. Ooh, you're edgy. So, there was a door to Kessler's workshop by the radiator in the ballroom. Door to Kessler's workshop by the radiator in the ballroom. The only radiator I've seen is in the haunted house. And I only know that because I wanted to go to the haunted house before I did anything else, because it's me and I like haunted houses. So... Is that the only relevant information from here? Perhaps I shall mail this letter tomorrow, but I know not that I cannot... I know... Oh my goodness, I know now that I cannot mail it today. Okay, yeah, that seems to be all the relevant information. Well, that's convenient. Okay, but what should we do next? We don't want to... Apparently, don't want to investigate the place where the missing horse is, even though I feel like that's probably the crime scene and we should probably investigate it. Why could I zoom in on this horse? I'm not going to ride the carousel right now. Is that... Is that it? Moon glow. Okay. Is there a reason that we zoomed in here? Am I going to need to remember that name? Because, uh, spoilers, I'm probably not going to unless I write it down and I don't have anything to write stuff down on right now. Which, granted, is an oversight on my part. Okay, how do we get out of here? Let's go. Okay, so what I want to do first, or next, I guess, is... What do I want to do? Should I go to the haunted house and see if I can find that? Yeah, let's do that. Hello? Hello? Hi, Nancy. KJ Paris. I got some preliminary info on that jewel thief. You know Chaz Dunning? Great. Let's hear it. Okay. Before he died, he got to be real good buddies with his cellmate at New Jersey State Prison. And his cellmate was paroled less than two months ago. Do you know the guy's name? Well, apparently he's used a lot of aliases. The guy I talked to wasn't sure which name he was released under, but he did give me a description. Dark hair, medium build, clean shape, Surely we should know his aliases. Accent. Like I said, I'm still in the process of making calls. Harlan? I just thought I'd let you know what I had so far. Thanks, Detective. You've or been is a that a red herring? Because that's too obvious. That would be my guess. Is that the accent that Harlan is going for? Because it definitely sounded Boston to me. But actually, it didn't really kind of sound like anything in particular. But anyway, let's go investigate this radiator. Okay. So, 
the radiator's in here. So this used to be a ballroom and they turned it into a, um... Oh yeah, there's very obviously a door or something here, isn't there? What that it... symbol looks familiar. Does it? That symbol looks familiar. I'm glad you think so, because I definitely don't. Is there anything else I can click on here? Do I have to mess around with this radiator at all? I mean, that's probably a bad idea. No, okay, so we can't do anything yet, there yet, but there's definitely something in here I'm gonna have to try to- like, I'm gonna have to try to get in there at some point. But, so that's something to keep in mind for later, I suppose. So let's go out here and out this way. Okay, next, I, I need to get into the roller coaster, but I can't do that because I don't have the soldering thing, so I can't do that yet. I do, do I return to Ingrid, do I return to Harlan, or do I return to Joy's place? I think there's something in Joy's place I need to take a look at, and I haven't yet, so let's go here first. Now let's go over here. Oh, there we go, there's the ballroom, as the it was. House used to be a ballroom. How's that for irony? So there was a door to Kessel's irony or appropriate? By the radiator in what's now the haunted house. Did I have to wait for her to say that? Maybe I wouldn't be surprised if I had to wait for Nancy to say that herself. But that's okay. We'll go back there later. It's not super important right now. It may even be an endgame thing. I don't know. I don't remember. But uh, can we poke around here at all? Is she gonna get mad? Okay, if I peek in here. Oh, go ahead and look around. She's fine. Excuse all the clutter. I'm still trying to get this place organized. <laughs> Alright, what's this then? That is... I can't... okay. Oh, looks like stenography. Yes. It's oh, a memo no. about one of the carousel horses being sold. I wonder which horse. Is it Moonglow or whatever the hell I found? I mean, I don't know. I can't read that. Um, the horse will be removed from the ride on August 3rd. Therefore, it must be replaced immediately. Please find out how much this will cost. And when you can deliver it. I need this information by the end of the day, Thursday. M. Okay. Is there anything else on here I can click on? No, it doesn't seem to be. Any other drawers? No, don't seem to be. That thing is off, thankfully. Did you talk to... Really what's his name? Work done. So do I. So did you talk to Elliot? Aha! Aha! Here we go. I think this is the, what it wanted me to see. This news article. It said something about a news article last time. So this is all about the, the jewels and stuff that were found last time. Yeah, okay. So I, I'm not gonna read all that, I apologize. If you want to read all that, you can go back and pause the video, I guess. Blast off in the night rocket. And we're gonna go see... I'm just gonna go check Nancy's um, computer really quickly, because she has her list of things that we should do or need to do or whatever on here. And I just want to make sure that, as far as I know, I've done everything I can so far. Yeah, more or less, we're, we're about where we need to be. I don't have any more emails, so we'll leave that be for now. I'm gonna go talk to Elliot and hopefully he actually talks to me now because hopefully Joy has talked to him and now I can talk to him myself and then we can go from there, I guess. So please give me the soldering thing because I need to look at the roller coaster. Now, Miss Destructo returns. I'm really sorry about what happened before. These things happen. So, I hear you're out to solve the curse of Captain's Cove. What do you think caused the roller coaster accident? That was no accident. It was sabotage. Well, yeah, probably, but do you, do have, you have proof, proof though? Not a lick. Know why? Because I'm pulling your leg, that's why. Come on. Well, what the what hell else would it be? I'm just an artist. Go ask our naturopathic engineer person. She has a name. Do you have any idea who stole that horse off the carousel? Somebody who's into junk. Um, carousel horses are expensive, especially as collector's that's items. Odd. Where have you been? Carousel horses can be very valuable. Well, when they're the original horses, they can be valuable, yes, but I was talking about the one that was stolen. It was not an original. Oh. Around 18, 20 I mean, that's years fair. ago, somebody bought one of the horses off the carousel. The guy who owned the park back then commissioned some hack to replace it. And that's the horse that was stolen. The replacement? Right. It's still gotta be worth some money. Maybe. In some market. Also, it probably has jewels in it. Ingrid said, you have her soldering gun. I need to get it from you, if that's okay. You bet. Here you go. Thank you. I return it to her, but I've been a little busy. Yeah, okay. Great. That's good. Thanks. I'm not going to return it to her either, just so you know. Not yet, anyway. Do you see much of the other people who are working during the shutdown? Like Joy Trent or that security guard, Harlan Bishop? Nah. Joy Trent? She's, like, invisible even when she's visible, if you get my drift. And that rent -a cop I've got no desire to see anything of him. Did you two have some kind of run-in? What, like a fight or something? How could we? He's one of the nicest, friendliest, most helpful guys I've ever met. <laughs> totally creeps me out. 
I'll let you get back to work. Keep it real. I'm not gonna judge him for being behind on his work, because that's just rude and he just started talking to me. So, is there something I need over here or can click on? I can use this to measure. Yes, Nancy, it is a ruler, that's what they do. I don't think I can click on anything in here, though, and I don't know what I would need that for yet. I must have to measure something at some point. Probably some boards, I'm gonna guess. I don't know. Just guess. What is this? Wow, 360 board feet. That's a lot of wood. Three, 360 board feet. Three, what? <laughs> that, that doesn't sound right. I don't know, it just, it sounds like a weird way to phrase that. But what do I know? What? I wanna see what it is, what is it? I mean, it's a drill, but what's on it? What is it? May I help you? Yes, I would like to see what that is, please. Wow, a lathe. Oh, that's why there's a section about a lathe in the book I got. Because I need it at some point. Mind if I look at this? No, go right ahead. A book on carousels. Cool. Okay. What of oh my goodness. <sighs> this is a lot of interesting information, but what I'm gonna do before I read any of it is click through and see if Nancy has anything to comment on, because that will make it obvious what I need to know. This is just about types of carousel horses. Inner side romance side. Is that the two sides? History of the Carousel, Foxfire! Hey, it's that horse that he mentioned in that thing, in that letter. Okay, so there's more Carousel horse stuff. Something about the Calliope, yeah, okay. We got that, they have Calliope or band organ, whatever you... Nothing? Nothing relevant. That's just flavor text. Not that I don't mind learning about carousels. I was gonna say roller coasters. Either one of those is accurate, but I feel like that's probably not something I need right Nancy, now. If she hasn't procrastinator's dream, know that hasn't um, commented on it. I found this receipt on the floor. Looks like you bought a lot of basswood recently. Oh, is that, that what it was? Thank you. No, nothing. Nothing else. You're not gonna elaborate. You're not gonna investigate further. Well, okay, I guess that's not an important plot point that we should investigate or anything, is it, Nancy? No, apparently not. So let's go back to Ingrid. And first, yes, I want to go back here because Nancy mentioned something about investigating when she's gone. So I'm going to see if she's gone. She might not be. She isn't. But that's fine. Maybe we can click around some other stuff around here while she's here since everyone else seems fine with me poking around their stuff while I'm there. What is that? Oh, it's a teacup! There's a little teacup thing. How, how come I can't go on the other rides, or see the other rides, or go on the rides? Again, is my point. I want to go on the rides. Let me go on the rides. Oops. Uh, I believe that's mine. <laughs> that is a fair point. Okay, I won't click on your bag of stuff or whatever it is. Is there anything over here? What is this? A fancy car. Uh, okay, good. So she wants to get a fancy card, don't blame her. Anything over here that I can look at? Probably not, no. Nope. Okay, what about on this side? There's another lathe. No, okay, so I'm gonna talk to her, but I don't think there's anything else I can necessarily do in here until she's not here. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? How well do you know Elliot Chen? Not very. But I've noticed he has a very strange aura. Very dark around the edges. Odd for an artist. What? But then, it's nowhere You're saying near as dark artists as are not dark and Her they don't make work from their pain? Did you know that the man who carved the carousel horses had a workshop under what's now the haunted house? How appropriate, considering Kessler's belief in the supernatural and all. Interesting. I heard some strange sounds the last time I was in there. They it is a haunted house, though. <laughs> That's odd. I've been doing a lot of work in there lately and I haven't heard any strange noises. So either your ears are better than mine. Or your imagination is. Thanks for that passive-aggressive burn. Thanks for your help. But also you I think it was probably just haunted house noises. Except it's not because there's a room hidden back there. So obviously it's not. So obviously whoever the culprit is, is probably back slash down there. Not like right this second, but in general. Okay, who else do I need to see? I've talked to Elliot, I've talked to Ingrid, I talked to Joy, such as it was. She didn't have anything to say. I'm gonna go talk to Harlan first, I think. Just, just to, you know, cover all my bases, talk hey, to all my people. No, I don't want to see the tape again. Oh my god, I kept accidentally clicking that in the first episode. It was a mess. I found an old letter in the gear room of the carousel. It was written by the guy who carved all the horses, Rolf Kessler. Is it okay if I keep it? As far as I'm concerned, I'll mention it to Miss Santos, see what she says. 
I'll see you around. Well, have thanks fun. for th thanks for that, friend. You sound kind of like a oh, we have somebody to call. We could call somebody. I don't want to do that yet. I want to go get in the roller coaster. Let's go in the roller coaster now. All I remember from this is that I have to hook them up in series, and it has to equal fifteen. So I need to double check and see. This is five, but I don't remember. Hang on, I should probably actually see what color the ones that are here are. So we've got an orange and a brown, so let's see what those are because they have to add up to 15, which means I need to connect it to the brown one. Okay, that was easy, there we go. So if I take this and stick it... Ah, oh, there it is. And then we've got to solder it, right? So, I mean, this has to go in the line. <clears throat> and then we need it to go in a line with this one. And then we need to connect it there, presumably, and then we turn it on. Is that all I That's need to do? Right. How is that not right? Oh wait, I think I missed a- I think I missed one? I think I missed one. I think that's all it was. Okay, because that should definitely work, as far as I'm concerned. Did I- did I make a loop? Did I make a line now? There's there, 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 and there. Yeah, it should be good. There, that there we go, right. okay. I was gonna say, it can't connect to the 31 in any way, and the parallel circuits are much more confusing to- is it the average? I don't remember. But in any case, we're in! Oops, no power. What do you mean there's no power? I just fixed it! This takes an employee access card. Oops, no power. If this takes an employee access card. This takes an employee access card. Oops, no power. I fixed it! Why can't I get in? It's do I have locked. to go tell her first? Well, that's just silly. I fixed it for you and maybe- Hello, Nancy. Maybe- How goes what? it? What? Why can't I get in? Thanks I fixed help. it! No big deal. It works now! Why doesn't it work now? What is this nonsense? Um, okay, so I don't really know what to do about that because I fixed it. Maybe I have to go back and see her. Did I do that already? I feel like I just did this, but... Hello, Nancy. She's How got nothing it? for, for me. Help. Do you want to turn the power on? More than two open eyes. Didn't I turn the power on? Wasn't that the whole point of soldering the thing? I don't understand why it's not working. Well, the last person I can think hey, of is Harlan. There we go. Okay, it was him. I don't know what, how or why, but here we go. It's all fixed. Here's the tag. You bet. I'll just Thank switch you. the circuit back on and you'll be all set. Ingrid said you told her that you were a bouncer before you oh, yeah. came to work here. Forgot about In this. Trenton, not Flemington. Uh, right. I was. For a while. I've held almost every guard type job there is. Lived in a lot of different places too. Trenton, Jersey City, Flemington, Cape May. Hey, I know Cape May. But that's super suspicious, though, that you can't get your story straight. I'm not saying you couldn't have had a whole bunch of jobs and stuff, but it's a little suspicious. We still have these lockers to poke around when he's not here, but I don't know when he's not here. So now let's go into the roller coaster now that the power's back on. Ugh. Feel like that's what I did, but there we go. How would I know it worked if I, you know, didn't know it worked yet? You know what I'm saying? What is this? I'll stop. This roller looks coaster. Like one of joys. Ugh. It's all chewed. Roller coaster, I don't know what that said. I couldn't quite read it. Is there anything else in here to investigate? What is this? This is to get the broken things off the track, but why can I zoom in on it? Ow! Ow! I'm trapped! Ow! Jesus! Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Uh -oh. oh no, Nancy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nancy. Get my foot loose. I need to switch the track somehow. Yeah, um, I don't know. This eh, lean, lean for it. Looks like I have to reconnect oh, these God. wires. Oh God. Okay. Well, good luck, I guess. I'm guessing they're now not I can just turn straight the power across. On and see if these are properly connected. Uh, power. There are six ways to connect these. Oops. You were electrocuted. Um. That's what Harlan said must have happened. My bad. I was out cold when he found me. <laughs> Hopefully you fell backwards, because then you would have been run over by the roller coaster. Nancy, my insurance rates are high enough. In other words, you're off the case. I almost died. Also, technically, doesn't the word electrocution mean you died? You just get a shock otherwise. How am I supposed to know? Which order they go in? It kind of looks like this, actually. So I'm just gonna go by the thing that's kind of behind there the and see if that and works. See if these are properly connected. There are six ways to connect these. I'll just have to try them all. <sighs> Still not right. Oh my goodness! All right, so the blue's up top. Then we've got red and green, maybe. Let's do it. Yes, there we go. Switch the track. 
Switch the track, please. There we go. How did it switch to trap me in the first place? My question. Anyway. Well, that was exciting. Uh, emergency exit. Yeah, I'll say so. What is this? Can I look at this? Is that not important? Is there anything else in here I need to look at? Or was I just in here to get almost killed by a roller coaster? Okay, well, I guess we're leaving. Let's go uh, complain at Joy about that. Hey. Need something? Uh, yes, I almost died. Also, I need to know how to read shorthand. Do you by any chance know how to read shorthand? Sorry, sure don't. Someone activated the roller coaster while I was standing on the tracks just now. I barely managed to escape. Really? Are you sure it was on purpose? Maybe you accidentally tripped a switch or something. Uh, excuse me? I don't think so. It happened right after I picked up this pencil. That looks like one of mine. But I didn't leave it there. I mean, just because you found one of my pencils, that hardly proves I'm guilty of something. It does prove you were in there. While you were gone, the Nancy Drew entity Excuse came in me, here I came in, left a note, and left. You were snooping around in here? Well, I was leaving you a note, you know, to call Elliot. An analysis of sensory input shows that the Nancy Drew entity entered the immediate area during your absence and exhibited non-random seeking behavior. I did, you, I have recorded proof that I did not do that, okay? Recorded proof, go back and watch the last episode, you stupid little robot. I literally came in here, wrote a note, and left. I was just trying to do the job Ms. Santos asked me to do. I didn't know I was being watched. My father was a frustrated inventor. After he died, I discovered that in his study. In his will, he said he made it just for me. I don't have room in my apartment, so I brought him here. I keep him covered when I know I'm going to have company. As you noticed, he can be kind of a blabbermouth. The word blabbermouth is without meaning to Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. Does he do anything else besides blabber? My father said he invented Miles in order to reacquaint me with my childhood. It always bothered him that I was never as happy-go-lucky as he was. What am I, Miles? Joy Trent is a party pooping stick in the mud. So my father <laughs> wow. him with a bunch of riddles designed to reconnect me with long-lost memories from my childhood. That sounds fascinating. I don't see it that way at all. I don't want to relive my childhood. Uh, my fair. mother died when I was four. But it's what your father wanted. Shouldn't you at least give it a try? I should be mad that you were snooping around in here. Again, but wasn't snooping. Is, I was here. I you were here when so I was gutsy. snooping. Especially since I'm so not gutsy. Oh, what the heck? Okay, Miles, let's hear the first riddle. Here is the first riddle. Listen carefully. To be told a truth long since put away, bring me the silvery remains of a four-bit day. I have no idea what he's talking about. I knew it would be a waste of time. Don't give up yet. Maybe I'll turn up something in the course of my investigation. Do what you want, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. Okay, so what else can we do now? Uh, can I go poke around in here again? I want to see if, now that she's mentioned that there's a door here, even though I knew there was a door here because the note mentioned there was a door here, then <laughs> maybe I can go through a door in here. Oh wait, there was this little panel. This little panel probably has to do, do with it, right? But I don't know what she means by that symbol looks familiar because I don't remember seeing it anywhere, so I guess we'll have to relook for that. I'm gonna once again talk to everyone else about nearly dying to a roller coaster, and then we'll see what to do from there. <gasps> he's gone. He's gone. I can snoop around his desk. He's gone. I see you, surveillance. I see what you did there. That's highlighted, so that's important. 101190. Okay. Keep that in mind for later. I need a tape. Okay, good. Good to know. He also leaves, apparently, more than once. Uh, anything over here I could use or would need? First aid kit, maybe? No. Nope, doesn't seem to be. Okay, let's go over here then. Let's poke around some people's lockers. Uh, well? Ah, oh, darn. I probably didn't even enter it correctly, but I thought maybe that would be the password to his locker. I'm gonna go double check what the number was, because I immediately forgot. 190, isn't it? Dang it, I was close. Hey, it was! Alright, cool, I did it! Oh, what does he have in here? 
What can I look at? Appointments. Haircuts. Louis G. Wonder who that is. Best way to find out is to call him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, calling random people definitely works. Is that the only thing I can click on? Yes, I think so. Okay, so we probably shouldn't investigate too much for- Oh, a tape! Wonder what's on Actually, here. just kidding. Then I'll just play it and find out. Alright, let's watch this tape. Who wants to bet he's gonna walk in on me watching I it? Tape. I have a tape, conveniently. Ooh, okay. Ingrid. It looks like Zero, Carlin's been seven, spying on Ingrid. Two, six. All right. I better put this back where I found it. Okay. Am I gonna have to in input the thing again? Because oh darn. Oh no. Okay. Let's put this back. There we go. Well, everyone, I think we've done quite enough snooping for today. There's a lot of things we have to do on the phone, at least two people we have to call. So I think we will save that for the beginning of next episode. Thank you for joining me for this Nancy Drew adventure. I hope you enjoyed this one. We almost got killed. That's always fun. And uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying this Nancy Drew game thus far. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. And if you want to see more Nancy Drew in the future, I do some every Tuesday. So consider subscribing. And you can take a look at some of the other stuff I do down in the description below as well. I will see you next time.